Number 24, TV reception antennas for VHF are constructed with crosswires supporting their, their centers as shown in blah. The ideal length for the crosswires is one half the wavelength to be received, with the more expensive antennas having one for each channel. Suppose you measure the lengths of the wires for particular channels and find them to be 1.94 and 0 0.0753 meters long. What are the frequencies? So basically, uh, we're going to use the formula again that the velocity of the wave is equal to the fre frequency multiplied by the wavelength. We're asked to find the frequency, so divide both sides by the wavelength. So now, the velocity of these waves, as you've seen now in the past 23 problems, uh, or 22 problems, that is 3 times 10 to the 8. Okay, The wavelength, then, is going to be... Um, now, you got to be careful. The length here of the antenna is 1.94 meters, let's say. We're going to choose that one to work with. But it says the ideal length for the crosswires is half of the wavelength to be received. So if this is the actual length of the crosswire, then the actual wavelength is twice that amount. Think about the logic behind the wording of the problem. All right? So we're going to do this. So it's 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by then 1.94 times 2. So the frequency here is going to be about 7.73 times 10 to the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right? 7 hertz. Now we would do the same thing, except in this case we're not going to have that. We're going to have 0.753 this time. Right, and it's 3 times 10 to the 8, then divided by parenthesis 0 0.753 times 2. All right, so this is now going to be 1.99 times 10 to the, uh, what do we have here? 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, should be larger. All right, and that's that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. And if you can, subscribe or like. Or, even better yet, if you're taking some other classes, pre-calculus or chemistry, we have a whole bunch of solved uh, problems out there for you to view. I might help you through those courses. Take care.